Eberron is uh, where we uh, got our, our roots for DDO as a MMO. Uh, it was a, a fairly new campaign and uh, it was just this unexplored area. The magic of the uh, space was very tech-based. This is where the, the technology of this uh, magic punk uh, environment came from. The Forgotten Realms is the most iconic, the most famous uh, setting, campaign setting. And of course, that means traveling to Faerun, which is the main uh, setting in the Forgotten Realms. For us, uh, getting to go to Faerun from Eberron is a really big deal, and it's really important to us that that world have its own flavor, and it feels unique, uh, and it uh, is true to the more classic uh, high fantasy setting uh, that has been part of that Forgotten Realms world. We have to be very careful whenever we start either with Eberron or developing the Forgotten Realms because we're dealing with some beloved properties here, and so we make sure to work closely with Wizards of the Coast, that we're following you know, their own ideas and their lore and their history that's already been reflected in a lot of books and games and movies. So we have a, we have a history that we have to respect. And we know that a lot of our players, you know, uh, uh, it, it will be very important to them if we bring them together to really treat it correctly, treat it right, not treat it trivially where people can move back and forth. The approach is, you know, it's not any random wizard or uh, that could that could connect the worlds. It's not it's a, a case where portals just exist. The whole challenge is figuring out what to make the linchpin of the of the expansion and the connection between the two worlds. And Lolf is that linchpin. She is the connecting uh, force between the two. Uh, you know, she's a iconic Forgotten Realms character. Uh, she is a god. She's powerful enough to do it. Mm -hmm.